More vaccines could be heading to pharmacies in Santa Barbara County as part of a new vaccine rollout from the Biden administration. KSBY's Melissa Newman explains how it might speed up the county's vaccination efforts. Several Albertsons and Vaughns across Santa Barbara County are new vaccination sites, meaning this location, for example, in Orchid could be one of the expected 6500 stores, a part of the Biden administration's new rollout. This all comes as the state plans to change who decides where vaccines are going across California. A big announcement for pharmacies like Albertsons and Vaughn's Tuesday as more vaccine doses may now be heading their way from the Biden administration. So you're going to have more retail pharmacies being involved and definitely a lot more providers. So I'm excited for that and not just being able to open more appointments in our stores, but to be able to see other providers out there to offer a similar service that we do. Locally, vaccines are only being given out to those 75 and up, as well as healthcare workers. And appointments at these stores in Santa Barbara County are filling up fast. We open up availability as we get more vaccines, right? And so what literally I would, open it up and it would be booked within merely of seconds or minutes. The news comes, however, as changes to vaccine rollouts are expected across California later this month. The state recently announced it has partnered with a third party administrator, Blue Shield. This company will now play a role in deciding where the vaccines end up, something the county and local providers say is concerning. Already, vaccination sites like the Lompoc Valley Medical Center state, they are on pause as they hold on to what vaccines they do have to use as second doses. It's just a um, large task to do and whether other areas that might uh, have a little more clout than we have in our area get a little higher priority. That's what I'm a little bit worried about that. Currently, the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department helps determine where the vaccines are needed. The department says they're hoping with these changes from the state, they'll still have a seat at the table. It worries me a little because you don't know how this new framework is going to work and how involved we will be in um, some of the decision making because it's our job to make sure that none of our communities, especially those hard to reach communities, are we, we want to make sure they're not left out. At this time, it's still too soon to tell if and when pharmacies locally might receive vaccines from this new rollout. A representative for Albertsons tells me they're just taking everything day by day. In Orchid, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. The Santa Barbara County Public Health Department says they have received more than 51,000 vaccine doses and have administered about 30,000 of them.